I'm going to share with you a little trick that can be used to maximize performance and thus increase the potential return you get on your investment of time and effort. Now it's not as much a trick as it is just managing your effort. So I need you to follow me for a second here. You ever notice that the more times you do something, the better you are at it until fatigue becomes a limiting factor? There's a reason for that. There's a reason why the second rep or the second set of any exercise is always going to be easier than the first as long as the first wasn't too demanding. The third will be easier than the second, the fourth will be easier than the third, and so on and so on until fatigue becomes a limiting factor. When you understand why that is, you can modify the way you do what you do to promote the response that you're actually there to get when you go to the gym in the first place. So you gotta understand that anytime you do a set, anytime you do a rep, there's two downstream effects that are gonna take place. There's a potentiation effect, which basically means the nervous system making acute adjustments to more efficiently recruit the muscles on your body to do what you're asking it to do, and you're gonna create some level of fatigue. If you wanna maximize performance, you wanna maximize potentiation, and you wanna minimize fatigue. So the way you practically apply this is very simple. Instead of doing your first set balls to the wall like you normally would after doing whatever warm up that you do, take it as an opportunity to rehearse the exercise under the conditions you wish to perform. If you don't do this, what happens is you're going to burn energy as your brain tries to become more efficient at recruiting the muscles on your body to do what you're asking it to do under the conditions that you're asking it. So what most people do, they'll do their warm up, then they'll just jump right into their whatever work they have planned, and as a result, they shoot themselves in the foot to some degree, but their logic is that since they're not limited by fatigue, they should be able to perform at their best. But if you haven't practiced under the conditions that you wish to perform, performance will suffer, and what's that going to do for your results? So it's not as much a trick as it is just managing your efforts. Use the first set as an opportunity to rehearse. Do one rep or two reps or three reps. Scale it up or down if you want to, but the purpose is to maximize potentiation under the conditions that you wish to perform while limiting fatigue. This will help maximize performance and thus increase the potential return you get on your investment of time and effort. If you like the information, share it. Click the fucking button at the bottom of the screen you're looking at. Subscribe to the channel. Support me, and I'm going to continue to bring it.